I think we should start out just that maybe explain to people um, that that don't quite understand what an NFT is, why why we even talk about things like utility, what does it mean to you, why is it even important. And how has it changed? Because we know that this Web3 world, which, by the way, <laughs> in the technology space, Web3 is not like a, a mindset. It's actually a technology. And so it's been a, a little bit weird for us as, as computer programmers to be like, when someone says, that's so Web3 of you, we're like, what <laughs> are you saying? Yeah. Um, but if we understand. So it's actually a technology. Um, you know, my, meaning on-chain programming versus off-chain programming in Web 2. So just keep that in mind that when we talk about Web 3, it really does stem from how this technology has changed and blockchain yes. and moving from, uh, you know, server-based to highly secure, can't change it kind of stuff. So when NFTs came about, we started saying, well, what do we get for this? Why, if we pay you for something, it's a, a product, what are we getting in return? Um, and if it's just money, it's just money. So I think a lot of us have different perspectives on this. I come from a crypto investing standpoint. Um, so that to me wasn't any different. So I'll start with you, Vince. Um, or maybe ladies first. Kim, you wanna go right. first? Kim, come Let's do it. So, Tell utility. <laughs> I mean, I think the whole thing is, you know, you always want to get into an NFT project because, well, back in the day, utility, um, I was giving this analogy earlier, you know, in the real world, you buy a concert ticket, your utility is the concert. And back in the day when we did NFTs, that utility was enough to get people in the space. You bought an NFT, you got merch, you got access to a conference, you got access to a party. I mean, Board 8 Yacht Club, if you look on their website, their utility is literally a yacht party. As we all know, that is not their actual utility. <laughs> um, there's a lot more to it. So, I mean, just saying, you know, on their website. So that's where we started. And, you know, we said, start off, where do we think it's going? Nowadays, people are asking for a lot more. And people don't want just utility of going to a concert, going to a conference, meeting people. Now, it's how do I make myself more money? How do I invest? So it's kind of turning into a lot more of an investment. Um, long term, nobody wants anything anymore that's quite so short term. Um, so it's kind of nice to see it evolve and become something bigger and better. So yeah, let's start off with that. Yeah, I, I like that. Um, I also like money. So w yeah. you know, if, the, if that's mean, what the utility here, is like- We're all here for down. money. <laughs> I'm so down with that. Corey? Do you like money? <laughs> terrible question. Yeah. Terrible question. Terrible question. I'm a big fan. Money <laughs> is my big BFF. <laughs> <laughs> um, Same. I wish we knew each other a little bit better. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> working on it, working on it. Um, I, the word utility it has become so cringy um, and so <laughs> overused. Mm -hmm. And it's because the, the, the we've just begun to scratch the surface of what NFT is and what it means. And it goes so much further than just the profile pics that we're all used to. Um, and it is technology. And as a brilliant young man, Alex, yesterday mentioned in his pitch, um, I believe that it has the power to take us to the, the next level, um, quant uh, making a quantum leap. Um, and providing us with opportunities that we cannot even yet begin to imagine. Um, and yes, you're right, it does go beyond. Now people are uh, wanting more than just access. Um, you know, what can, what can they do uh, is in, in terms of real life is really going to be defined by us. We're gonna create that reality. Uh, things are happening at lightning speed um, in this space, as we all know. So I think it's it's going to be a, a long and bumpy ride. Just hold that on. That's true. <laughs> that is so true. Speaking of access, um, Link and I had a, a, I don't know, 30 second, maybe 20 second little conversation. I got earlier. yelled at he for was 20 like, seconds. Whoa, who is this lady? <laughs> I got yelled at I for was 20 like, seconds. Pay gosh. attention. I uh, need you for 20 seconds. Your friend was like, I'm out. Uh, yes. Yeah. Get me away Nicely from her. Nicely backed away while I got my head taken off. <laughs> Thank you for nothing. Okay. <laughs> They're like, well, 
But speaking of access, so I'm I'm here actually for two other conferences, one of which is Consensus as well. Yes. Um, and CoinDesk puts that on, and they have now a what's called a desk token, mm-hmm. um, which is awesome. Still not in my wallet though. I I got you. Okay, okay. I got you. Um, <laughs> and then we kind of like touched on, you know, I was like, well, it's this cool like you know access and ticketing, you know, tokenization of ticketing, and um, we both kind of went, wait. Is that is it that yeah. is it really is or it? you know this like proof of of participation yes. proof of attendance what is it going to get me at the conference again utility so whether yes. or not it's a ticketing thing so tell us about desk yeah. and, so and why it's important I, I do want to make a comment on the initial meeting like first off and in, like instant sparks and <laughs> seriously and I'm you know I'm somewhat of a developer more ITSM you know I I, I do a little stuff but one thing that I always uh, appreciate about developers is they're really straight to the point. What are we going to do? What are we here to do? It? How are we going to do it? Like they run everything like a scrum. Okay. So it, it was, it was, it was, it was really cool, but that was a question. Like, so you guys are tokenizing access and we're like, and I'm like, no, wait, maybe, <laughs> maybe. And I say that, You're welcome. Because, I say that because again, if you're talking about community, any community that you've ever been a part of, the first question is, What's in it? Well, anything you've ever done. What's in it for me? Yeah. Yeah. You date somebody. You work somewhere. What's in it for me? Do I get a discount here? Do I get benefits? What's in it for me? So all utility really is, is looking at who you're targeting, who has helped you build this thing out, and who do you expect to continue to help you to build things out? What do they want? Give it to them. And give it to them in a way that makes them feel important. Because for these last few centuries, people like us, regular people, have not been made to feel important. So that in and of itself is a social currency. That's social fi, social finance, you know? And so we realized very early on that, yeah, this stuff is cool if we're all sitting behind our computers or our phones talking about what we're going to do with this social currency, right? But, and I'm not saying that desk is a currency because it's not, <laughs> okay? But <laughs> that was a lawyer talking. Yeah, was there yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, was yeah, a lawyer yeah, back Yeah, I definitely dropped out of law school. I, I'm serious. I dropped out of law school. So, uh, <laughs> exactly for that reason. So, no, seriously. So, we wanted to give people something that would literally power and fuel their experience and consensus at, at consensus. And I want everyone as we delve into this more, to see the power of social tokens um, to build community and build actual smart cities if we really dive deep. That's it. Yeah, I I love that. And before we go to Vince, I'm going to talk more. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Really, he's just here to look pretty. Yo, yo, that was great. That's that's all about us. She soothed him as she she curved him. (laughs) Buddy, buddy. No! Um, I think that it will be important to know that um, I f- somehow stumbled upon um, it two years ago TikTok. So <laughs> somehow I have three hundred and twelve thousand followers on TikTok, nice. and uh, yeah, woo! That's a, an accomplishment. I knew that computer <laughs> science degree was worth something, uh, <laughs> right? I, t- I, t- I finally made it work. It was like this is it for me. I'm an influencer. <laughs> Forty six <laughs> years are. old. You are. So? We're all influencers. Let me just get this straight, right? Like you influence your children to go to bed. Like you influence your your boss. Like we're all influencers. Yep. This is just on a, a larger scale. Uh, I do recognize that. No, seriously. <laughs> and it's kind of funny. Um, yes. Go figure. Uh, no, I'm not a stand-up comic. Um, I just do TikTok. So I found that this global audience, you know, it's the same in sales. It's the same. That none of this is new. You have to give them what what they want. What what's in it for them? Um, you know, for half of the content that I do is is funny stuff. I do these reacts. I I you know I make people laugh. That's what's in it for them. Um, and then you know the other half of it, I am teaching about crypto and technology, and they're getting education out of it. So when we talk about social engineering and the way that we we we're like knowledge brokers, right? We're teaching each other right now. We're not sitting and listening to financial advisors or, you know, yes. being put to sleep. Which is by, boring. It's so boring, right? And that, in all seriousness and also joking, so yeah. uh, you have to hook people in and then then I can throw the smart at them, you know? Yes. So, like, you know, there's, there's a couple of uh, really viral videos. Now you're going to all go look later. Listen Definitely. to us first and then go watch my TikTok. But <laughs> a couple of really viral stuff that is like me ogling shirtless lumberjacks. 
And then the next video is me like, hey, let me tell you about blockchain. And people are like, okay, I'll stay. You know, like she was funny for a minute and then I'll stay and listen to this blockchain nonsense. But it's true. Like what is in it for them? We are in this, this space right now where we're providing products. Well, you know, the, the devs are prov providing the foundation yes. um, and that's the utility. So in each instance, there is a utility. It's just the great thing now is I get to own my content. Yes. I never cared. Like I, I, I didn't care about the fact, I, I'm a technologist. I know that I don't have that intellectual property. I realize that it's on TikTok mm. servers and not mine. Mm. I don't care. Four million people watched one video and it got shared around the, well, there, there's, a hundred million views world. on yes. my total Around TikTok. Like that's yes. mind blowing. Do you think that it, it's owned by me? A hundred percent. No, but now we can create content. Um, and my friend Chris is here too. And, and he, you know, he, w right now with content creation, ownership people, it's like, it's a mind. I can't say bad words, right? It's a mind. You know what? Um, <laughs> To get like in this oh, mindset, uh, <laughs> mind fart. No, I'm, I'm the principal. Mind like fart. you're looking at me. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm yes. like the You're in charge. Yeah. You're in charge. Can I say this? Mind flip. It's a mind, mind flip. flip. It's a mind flip. I like mind flip. Can we coin that? Can I somebody like make that flip. an NFT? Mind flip. And, and Let's do it shaming. in the back. Like make I think we've got some trademarking to do. Just any trademark attorney in <laughs> the audience, uh, I'll make you laugh if you help me with trademarking. <laughs> That's all we got. That's a lot That's all we got. of work. So to, to wrap that up, I think the social like aspect of that, the social, the content creation, what we're doing here to be able to own this um, is, is how this is going to move us forward in this paradigm shift. We're going to use all the words, yeah. all the, the buzzwords. But what, yeah, what oh, now you can, you can no, go. No, 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 your turn. <laughs> the what? No. So one of the things that when we started looking at this panel, uh, Kim and I started going back and forth in terms of what do we talk about? What is this utility thing? Because everything was like this short term, what's in it for me? And now as we get used to this concept of acquiring an NFT or acquiring a token, what does it mean long term? Yeah. And what does that utility mean? Because like there are, are I would, if I say dozens, I'd be understating it. Dozens and dozens of projects that come out on a regular basis that mint an NFT, it's going well, and then now what? They're basically staring at a no value utility cliff that's happening. So when you think about this, you know, the, the first title of the, this talk was, <laughs> is utility bullshit, right? Yeah. I can say I had. The, can I he no say that? Can we check I think in the that back? Was, that that one might be okay. So. He said that. But Mark, I mean, Mark's looking at you like, do you better not? Ooh. Oh but, yeah, <laughs> I forgot. The venue but, changed. It's utility bullshit. But guys. I mean, and and you know, some yes. Some of it is yes, but some of it is yes, almost um, un not, you know, unintentionally. Yeah. Because people don't think long term; they think very short term. Yeah. People buy into it and then they hit the cliff. And so a lot of what this conversation is about is about what we are doing to really grow it, what we are doing to make it happen, and how we're thinking about it and how we should help other people think about it, people watching this, people thinking about it. And as we go through this, when you hear utility, it is cringy because you're like, really? That's your utility? It's sort of like, well, what does it really mean? And I think that's really you know, why I'm here, why I wanted to have this conversation. And I think when you're trying to bring yeah. someone in from web two, the very first thing they ask you is like, why do I want this picture? What does it do? And unfortunately you have to talk about utility, yeah. but as you're talking to someone in web two, they don't necessarily know what that word means. So you end up explaining different types of utility and there's a ton of good ones out right. there. Um, so. So what I mean, when you look at these, you see like you, you see some of the utility is there for the ticket, you see that. But honestly, you buy an NFT for a ticket for a show how expensive does that NFT have to be for the next show, for the next show, for the next show? What, what do you think about? And, and those are the things that really go back and forth. And, a, and if you're tracking it relative to the price of a cryptocurrency, you know, you just may have sold your next 10 shows for like $14. Well, I think, yeah. I think, my bad. I, I just think that. You can talk. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. I just, I, I think that we're um, sort of missing a, an integral point here, which is the utility is, what we make sure that people want it to be. And we have to make sure that it's something with longevity and we're not doing that. So like, and that is the importance of these in real life events. I always say in real life, 
because I need to see you. I yes. get I, you got my money. Like I need to see you. Like let's <laughs> let's let's keep it. Let's let, you know what I mean. Let's yeah. keep let's keep it true true to form. If you have my money, if I've given you, even if I just gave you two hundred dollars, and you're telling me you're going to do something with that money, I want to know. Everybody in this room, if you've ever paid someone, you want to know what they're doing with your money. And so that's why the social tokens and that's a feedback loop. We've created a constructive yes. feedback loop for that reason. So that's what I want to say. Yeah, you're absolutely right, um, Corey. I would love to hear your. Um, before they all talk over you. Um, no, 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 I apologize. No, no. <laughs> you know, I'm just kidding. Do you have a, like, the last project that you advised on or, um, you know, something that, that really stuck out to you on on something that you've worked on recently? Because, you know, things move in light speed. So things that, we were saying that, the remember the thing last year that we were at NFT Connect? And I'm like, no, it was two months ago. <laughs> Like, w remember last year? No. Remember February yeah, last remember year? February <laughs> last year. No, th that was, I, it was wild. So any anything that stands out to you with utility that maybe it was frustrating or um, that you thought was done well, um, that maybe, I don't know, ha has it stood the test of time? Another, you know, cringy phrase I'm going to use is, we're so early. <laughs> oh, God, no, we're not. We are early. We are yeah. early. I mean, th this is true. Sorry. So I hate, I know. <laughs> I I did that, um, but these are these are the infancy stages. The baby yeah. has not even started We're to like walk. Nokia, right? It's not even Car crawling phone. yet. So it, can we say that somebody's doing something wrong or right as we're oh. we're building this as we're literally making this shit up? I can't as we go along. Um, no, I can't say that. What is it going to look like five years from now? Ten years from now? I don't know. We don't know. What I do know is that you know there's 10 percent of the world that owns 90 percent of the world's wealth mm. that's what i know yeah i know that stuff isn't working yeah. um <laughs> i know that this the struggle is real for just far too many people and here we have the way this technology is the way do we have the will to to move it forward to create change not just for a a certain few, but improve the quality of life here in this great state where these tragic events have recently happened, and you guys know what I'm talking about. We have a, uh, we have to be web three world changers. And I think that um, Austin used that term world changers yesterday. It's true, we have to do this. We have, we owe it to our posterity. We owe it to the future because if things continue as they are, um, I think we can all see the handwriting on the wall. Definitely. So that's the question we ask ourselves about utility. It has to go beyond the what's in it for me to a broader, a much larger picture. I would like to switch a little bit to the utility of clout, um, mm -mm. and <laughs> which is actually kind of ridiculous, um, but I, I, I want to see, how do I put this? So men and women are different. Um, we, we each, uh, <laughs> FYI, uh, so now we're going to speak about why that is. No, in the clout <laughs> sense, you know, there's a lot of, um, showing off, right? Like not many women, I don't are know. Are you calling us, are you calling us tools? <laughs> yes, essentially. Wow. No, I think that there's just a difference between, you know, some people really like to show off what they have. Um, I am very bougie, um, but I, I like to drive nice cars. I like it for me. Whereas I think men, and it's no fault, it's just that we're different, like to show it off to look a certain way. And so utility as clout, clout as utility, either way. Yeah, how do you see, yeah, like how do you see that as a man? How do we see it as women? Because all of my big NFTs are locked, okay, they're locked on the, blockchain somebody corrected me who corrected me last night i see you yeah. um, somewhere locked on the blockchain but it's on a ledger in my safe at home i have no desire to 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 show that off i'm more like i don't want anyone to know what you know what i have but so many men they're like wearing it around their well, neck can i can i just say that that's a social construct and yes. it's, it's 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 actually natural women are meant to internalize things and grow sure. them and then and then produce them we got to do the producing first. You know what I mean? Oh, we have that, to, we that's have to, we such have to, a good point. And everything. We have to exude. We, we have just, to exhaust. I don't even know where to go with that. I, I, exactly. I, I, yeah. No, for real. We have to project. 
we have to project yeah. our like even when we come in the room, I have to stand with my chest up. I have to shake your hand really hard, and yeah. I gotta yeah. let you know, man, I'm supposed to be here. I got with a board eight. Yeah, but the women are just uh, yeah, facts. But the women are just oh my god, you're so beautiful. You look so good. Oh my goodness, your your you know your your art, your work. I love it. It's it's just yeah. automatically you just absorb people, yes. and we are you know what I'm saying. We have to project all the time. So yes, it's that. And this movement started with like one of the most monumental things was Beeple selling a sixty-five million dollar yeah. NFT as he burnt it on, you know what I mean, in front of everyone. We have this is a clout chase. What do you mean? That's why I say social fi. It's so funny because one of the it's not pinned to my Twitter uh, feed right now, but the pinned tweet for a couple of weeks now has been the picture of me and Beeple, and I was really? like, that's so cool. That that everyone thinks I'm so cool. That guy is. crazy. Crazy, and I love him. And it, like, I heard. I, it's, I heard. I it was like what an experience, but it was also such a cool thing to show other people. That's like, what. Yeah, look, for you. people think I'm cool. You yes, know? exactly. And that's, for you, there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Nothing. I hope. No, no. It's, it's <laughs> <laughs> nobody's judging. <laughs> nobody's judging. But yeah, social fi. We're I gonna see judge. You judging. Yeah, we're gonna judge. <laughs> yeah. So social fi, and like we we said, you know, there's a song. Um, a big Sean says, you know, a million dollars. A million followers is not a million dollars. Yeah. But it, it, it absolutely can be now. It has been becoming that now. Yeah. You sell an NFT for that much, it's because of your following. Yeah. And so, yeah, that's that's the cool part of it. Yeah. I mean, men and women are very different in the space. Like, as what? you said, yeah. a little bit a little different. Um, I was at VCon, and I was talking to a couple women that run very well-known projects. And it was very surprising that I was talking about how, and I'm more of a degenerate, I... I, I thrive in a more of a male atmosphere than a female a atmosphere, but I happen to be talking to these women. And they're like, well, I say, wait, you've never bought three NFTs and immediately sold one to pay for the other two? And they're like, wait, what? No, I've never even sold an NFT. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> um, so, you know, as we are building this place, we have to take into account how women and men do this differently. A woman, many of the women's projects that I'm in, you know, they buy the NFT, they love what it looks like, they don't, they're not really thinking about the financial independence of it. Whereas I am in these men's want discords and communities where they're like talking about flipping and doing all these cool things and how they want more and how they want to be more fina like financially more um, as well as community more. But they seem to drive that. Whereas the women are like, oh, my family, my kids, they just look at it differently. And so we have to remember, you know, we there is a clout to it and men and women do it differently. If we're going to make this utility thing go anywhere you have to bring in the whole community and understand that you know our softness of a woman in the community is a great asset you know to not have some of these bullheaded guys running around all the time well i think i think <laughs> but, that really yeah. gets into what, what a lot of people don't realize they think they they think they have this monolith customer yeah this monolith and they don't realize that there is these finer points about who people are and who they're talking to and if they spent the time in the community not blowing with the chest right out and talking yes. all that other yeah. stuff yes. and really understood the feedback to take that feedback loop to find out who they're talking to you could get a lot more and that really will help even inform you as the creator where you need to take your project next and that gives you the clue to the utility so the act of listening and using that to but having enough gas left in the tank to build for that too is also very important that's that's, that's sim symbolic. Uh, even the way that we're sitting here, like I believe in the feng shui and the energy thing. You got two men sitting on either side of these these wonderful women. Seriously, and we're we're backing you, not backing you, but you know supporting you. Like yes, this is wrong. It needs to change. And you made a very great point that if I could, your clout as a as as the average woman, not all women. So please forgive me. Is your future? <laughs> that's your clout, literally. Like yep. that's why they're not flipping anything because I want my child to be able to walk out of high school a millionaire. And for us, it's like, yo, we gotta go and ball out and show everybody right now that we got it. And our women are like, hey, what? Are, like we need stuff for the future. So that immediate, this all translates in every community. And it's it's crazy that you're saying that to me. So I don't know, bro. I'm flipping. You. Yeah. I, I, that's why I said not I like all. Money. Because I deal with yeah. mo most but of my women of friends are like you all. We're flipping. We all yeah. flipping. I mean, some I of the it. women that, you, like you said, they do sit there and they are, you know, holding on because it is the life of the community. But by doing so, they're also holding themselves back 
from financial independence by not yeah. being a little bit more risky and not ta- not and maybe risk isn't even the right more aggressive in the space because risk isn't the right thing because when you're do- certain things that we that men tend to do more than women are what's making them stand ahead and get ahead with those some of those financial decisions um so we just gotta you gotta remember you know we gotta sort of bring these education into some of these women's groups and really teach women how to be financially independent within the space because some of that's being missed and we got to start getting that utility out there and like i said it's kind of a big deal when you meet people that are founders of very well-known women projects that say i've never sold an nft and you're like and and then there's like the flip shaming which i've coined so don't even try to use that (laughs) Um, I'm using it. You have to like said by Brooke, La- Brooke J. Lacey. Um, <clears throat> I think a lot of times, so we have to remember this is all from, from crypto and cryptocurrency is, you know, there because of blockchain. So it became this, this vehicle, this, this way of exchanging value on the blockchain, but then it also became an investment vehicle. And we all go, Ooh, I'm not financial advice, you know, but, but really it is like, let's, let's so- fucking say what it is. Like these are investment vehicles. We just can't say, and I've talked to my attorney with about this a lot. Like, can't I just say that this is going to make me money? I don't understand. He's like, yeah, you're not, a, you're not promising something. Yeah. So not financial advice, but um, you know, there's a way to, I know with, with crypto and a lot of times with, with what I would tell people like on TikTok and educating women about financial security is, utilize things like this because wealthy people invest we've all heard that right Mm -hmm. there's a lot of wealthy people in here um wealthy people invest their money they don't necessarily spend it and so this is a way it is a more risky way to invest your your money and obviously having to to turn it into um to cryptocurrency and then buy these jpegs um which just sounds ridiculous I, I was. I, I'm Have from, I talked to you about utility yet? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're we're going to start a drinking game. That, that going Every from here, you anytime you say utility, you have to take a shot. And yeah. we're going to wait till after. Lunch. <laughs> right, right. I, I've got the bottle down it's here, brunch. but yeah, brunch. We're yeah, brunch. brunch. Mimosas. Yeah. Mimosas. <laughs> Deb and mimosa. Um, I so I, I live in in Boise, Idaho, and I was at the airport, and I'm on the phone with one of my devs, and we're talking and stuff, and I'm. I'm like, and then the goblins, and then like, then we had to like go through the board ape thing. And people are like, "What, what the? F- talking about? What is she talking about?" And it's just totally normal for us to be saying these words, but, um, but we're buying things that just are so incredibly ridiculous. But yet we're doing that to better our lives. And I do have a, a 17 year old. I am f- completely financially responsible for, and I'm teaching him. Uh, about all of these things and he also thinks we're all crazy he's like you guys keep talking about the metaverse mom we've been in the metaverse for a long time like i just watched a movie with a bunch of friends and in on my oculus so i digress but it's uh we'll talk about that later i think that's the really important thing that if the utility and i'd like to know what you all think but if the utility is truly making money why is that bad i personally do not think that's bad i want to build wealth i have always built wealth i have always been in in a situation as a technologist where i've never had to worry about my next meal i as a woman as somebody who i've been a single mom since you know for, for since he was born oh, um and i took care of everything i've owned the businesses i've done all of that and i want other women to understand that so when they hold on to their nfts i'm like oh really like you could <laughs> You, you see you, it tanking, yet you're yeah, like, holding on like to your life. Why? Have the, have the money Market there cycles. to take care of yourself. So, um, Corey, what do you think? If the utility is money, uh, it's not a bad thing. You know, it's <laughs> it's the love of money that's the root of all yeah. evil. Not money, not money itself, and, and it's what you're doing um, with what you're. Uh, it's all about intention, mm. setting intention. Uh, what are you doing? What are your intentions? How are you going to make the world a better place? And that's mm-hmm. a question we have to continue to ask ourselves, or we're just repeating history. Mm. Um, in his book, Audacity of Hope, Obama said, um, and I want to get this, it's, it's paraphrased because I'm not reading it. <laughs> he was saying, I wonder if human beings will ever you know, reach the point where we're not just going from boom to bust, from war to peace, that we're really on an upward tra- trajectory and thinking about 
you know, how we actually are going to change the world. Are we doomed to just keep repeating history? And so, again, we have the way. So building out a utopia. Or, 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 or striving say, towards, not not actually yeah. building it out, but striving towards a utopia yeah. is what I'm saying. I say oasis. O- oasis, okay. It doesn't have to be a utopia. Really? But at least we, we can create a space in which all of the youth, democracy and its ideals actually work. Yeah. Work oh, yeah. yeah. Work can happen. Not yeah. Just a few. Oh, yes. Yes. Exactly. And I love the word that you used a little bit earlier, ownership. It all comes down to that. And in, in this world where um, we don't have ownership of almost anything. Subscription um, based life. Yeah. There you go. This is a subscription based life. Yeah. And and the tech though. What about the tech? Like we're just looking at NFTs. You know, is utility a bad thing if it makes you money? Uh, okay. No, it's not. It's not. But then we look at like you were just saying, I'm telling you to get rid of this NFT. It's tanking and you're not, right? Because of the utility. Or could it be that we have the opportunity to actually invest in developers in their companies? And their ability to build the U- the, the UFT, the NFT, <laughs> to build it so that you yourself don't have to take that risk, but you know that the the NFT is founded by solid code that you have invested in. It's just I think it's a perspective thing. It doesn't have to be an NFT, and the barrier no. to entry doesn't have to be so high. Even if you're investing in in tech, you can actually create an NFT to invest in the tech and give them a return on them investing in the tech. Now, the NFT is really valuable because the tech is continuing to the progress. The inception of blockchain. You see? Exactly. Same meta. thing. We're just, yeah. yeah. We're just, I, we're think, just I think you know, when you look at this, you look at it from a really different perspective. I think that you know, where you can go with it, what you can do with it, and what you were talking about, making the world sort of a better place. I mean, and that's the value of looking at this almost long term. It's the ripple effects that the wealth here can create for other things and help other people. So... If you're in a position where you feel financially solid, you can help other people. I'm not a big utopia, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a capitalist, yeah. but I think that I'm a capitalist in a way that, you know, it's kind of like boring to be the only guy around with all the money, everybody's broke, right? So I think it's really important to have that ripple effect, help, you know, go to help other people and to get other people and to create an environment where people just are comfortable making those decisions. I mean, it's about right. education. That's kind of where it's going, yeah. though, because, you know, I, it used to be, you know, the founders were the only ones making all the money in Web3, and it's it's now evolving to what the idea is that, you know, your founders are trying to make a place for all of their community to make money. So it's nice that we are starting to get to that a little bit better. Where I wanted to say, I, people have heard me on Twitter spaces, you know, I... <laughs> You guys think you can make money flipping JPEGs? Let me tell you how much we charge for auditing a smart contract. Facts. A shitload. Facts. Facts. A shitload of money. And so if you, I use that word twice because people forget this is not just about flipping JPEGs. This is not just about collecting things. Maybe the the case is, maybe these people already have something going on where it's like, yeah, I'm cool with just like buying a $100,000 pretty JPEG. Cool. Yeah, cool for you. Like, well done you. Yeah. Um, but I'm more interested in getting devs paid. Um, they don't charge enough for their services. So I'm no. going to be their dev pimp. Um, dev I knew I was going to say that on, on stage at some point. <laughs> right. I knew it. You're not filming. No, <laughs> that's all right. I say it a lot. But remember that, that there's money to be made in the tech. And 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 that's what's driving all of this. So if you don't understand the tech or, you know, don't want to be involved in that at all just understand that that's the foundation and and none of the stuff that you can even do here that we're talking about is possible without that so and 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 people think it's so like you're saying people think it's so easily easily done and i was in a space where someone was like bro all you gotta do is just open an open c account get your metamask and then you just you just (laughs) mint from there and i'm like bro what about the smart contract what about the audit how they're doing it yeah like that's exactly how they it's like no it's not that simple stop telling people it's that simple or the smart Edu- contract where they think it's like a document where a lawyer writes it Yes, up. the contract. So um, whose attorney is involved in writing the smart contract? Like, what <laughs> are you talking about? And so, <laughs> so, you know, but these, and I'm not saying this to someone who's trying to learn and they're just asking. I'm saying this to people who think that they're telling you what's happening. Yeah. You have to be very careful. This is the wild, wild west. 
remember the great frontier you you watch tombstone and all those the Wyatt Earp movies where they get out there and you have to fend for yourself you can't trust everybody let's just keep it you know and so education is very important this is why you know my brother's here Okacha Phillips uh is opening a web3 school in Dallas where you're taught let's everything go. Everything Let's about go. Web3, about building a community, about mining, about everything. Because we are tired of our friends coming to us saying, hey, bro, you know such and such? Yeah. Hey, well, I just paid him $1,500 to teach me about NFTs, and I haven't heard from him. Yep. That's a horrible feeling because this is my life. Web3, blockchain, Web3 to us is just an evolution in, in the internet. Let's just keep it, yeah. you know. But blockchain, all of this, being a degen is my life. So when someone says that someone else who's claiming my life is lying to them, I take that personally. So that's why we ha we're we all up here educating. That's why the TikTok has five billion followers. Five billion. Five it billion followers. It went from 300,000 to five billion. It's five billion, yeah. While I'm we're sitting a, here. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm trying to give you your flowers, okay? <laughs> <laughs> You got applause, yeah. But I'm serious. This is why it's important. So thank you all for seriously for that. Okay, we have 11 minutes, or this guy right here is gonna. He's gonna. <laughs> he's, yeah, he looks a little frustrated. Remember Questions? those things on the, 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 the they used to do this. I mean, AG. I mean, should we even pick some utility that we like? Maybe. Yeah, I was gonna say. Why don't we? Maybe go we should end with what what utilities do we all like? Money. I'm good. Besides go money. <laughs> Vince, okay, fine. I'll start with you, Vince. You, you know, go ahead. I, you know. One of the reasons I'm here is a utility that I've been able to work in this, you know, work out in this community. What it's a lot to go over in less than 10 minutes. So what we've what we've been able to do from an education perspective in our community, the social bees, what we've been able to do in order to really get an educated community really working and engage. So they're actually working to improve the value of the NFT and of the associate as assets with their NFT and growing that so they can do that. So the utility we're seeing is a long-term utility that's really about growing the community and the better and stronger that community grows, the better your financial outcome will be. And so that is the kind of utility that I'm bought into. I'm a little bit older than the average DGEN, so I'm thinking a little bit long-term, but I think that it's something that we have to do uh, and that's the utility that I see. So, I mean, I'm pretty much, single threading at this point what what i'm doing and try to make this thing better but that's really the utility that i'm seeing. You're talking about the absolutely social. yeah we love you be ha be ha name drop uh again i'm 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 the large picture person um and you mentioned something about access we're still living in a country where there's a digital divide in 2022 people yep. there are still communities that don't have access to what we take for granted, basic internet services. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, there's still a whole community or a whole world out there that we ha we're, we're not, mass adoption's still an idea mm. or something that seems like pretty far away but closer than many of us think it is. Mm. You know, how are we making people aware? What if that was the utility? What if what you're doing with this brother's doing in Dallas with the school and the and, and, and other folks that I know, Nadja Roberts, who's also building brick and mortar uh, spaces in urban communities where people can learn mm -hmm. about this who have no idea it even mm -hmm. exists. Mm -hmm. um, again, the way is there to So you're change not talking lives. about third world countries where I'm, this information no, isn't being, okay, I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm talking about right I'm just here, bro, right here. <laughs> so, you know, uh, again, to me, the best utility is going to be a uh, utility that actually creates viable, real change in people. Kim, eight minutes. I know. Make sure you leave time quick. for me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm a fan of uh, Tom Bilyeu and his Impact Theory Project. Yeah. And the reason why I'm a, a fan is not only is it his community that he has built, but uh, it's very similar to Social Beast, where it is continuously trying to teach people more things um, and also giving you the ability to his new project, Project Kaizen, that's coming out is one of the ones where you get to, if you want to be a developer and you want to go down that path, there are people there to assist you and you can do that and you can learn to do that. But it's kind of, it reminds me of like some of the alternative schools where it's not necessarily, you know, you go to your standardized, but you get to like, hey, I'm interested in artwork. And then they will help you pair you up with like some digital artists and you get to learn like the basics behind it. They And then programmers, like helping programmers even get involved and how do you do this blockchain? So 
his is very interesting in what he's doing, but wh one of the things he said at a conference recently, um, he said, you know, community is huge because without the community, all of these things that the founder wants to do and wants to help you, it doesn't go anywhere. You need a strong community. So I think that's a huge utility, um, and that's not a financial utility, but you know, the learning part is the yeah. financial side of it. Yeah. But he said, listen, I have this community, and if I were one day to go away, you guys would all have each other. But if I'm running this project and you all left me, I would have nothing. Mm. And that is very true. Very true. Um, and so community is huge, but it's just kind of something that they're doing. And, and the whole point of why I like that project is just, and I like every project that's similar to that, it continuously evolves. It's trying to make people better. And, and they do it at an entry point where someone who's not rich can get in. Yeah. But if you are a whale, there's opportunities for you as well. So they, you know, you got to look for those projects that hit all those points and I think then you're going to start finding the utility that speaks to you that fits that community the learning financials etc indeed I would say um, w this basically encompasses what everyone has said <sighs> utility is support like if you're calling in for an order of some equipment that you need before you you, you go on a trip somewhere and you need that equipment for that trip you don't want to speak to the chat person you want to speak to someone on the phone, and if you can pull up to the brick and mortar location, you want to be there to be assisted through your issue personally. You want to know that someone cares about you. And so when we talk about utility, money, yeah, makes people care about you. You know, yeah. <laughs> seriously, they say money and power make people care about you. Money, power, and information. And if you, th three, money, power, and information. And if you think about this entire movement, money, power, information. And so, it has gotten very cliche. It's wag me. We all going to make it. But, you know, you got little projects being pushed out of conferences because they don't have enough money as, th as the big projects who the whole point of the little projects is so that this doesn't happen. How can you say wag me in a, in a construct like that? So community is knowing, the, well, excuse me, the utility is knowing that the people who are in your community are willing to bat for you. You can say anything you want about gangs in America, but the reason why those people get into those communities, they're still communities, is because they have protection. Even if the protection is destructive. We're just striving to have give each other protection that is progressive. And that's what I want you to think about. Whenever you read a project and you look to the FAQs, like, what's the utility of this project? All right, boom. How is this going to make me a part of a bigger organization? And if we're quoting people, Daniel Pink, Motivation 3.0. This is how I remember Web3. Web, web web, it's really Web3.0. He has a theory called Motivation 3.0, and he says that there are three things that you need to give a person in order to properly motivate them. We're used to the construct of motivation 2.0 where you threaten them with a consequence, and then if you do good, you get a, you get a, you know, a golden ticket or whatever. But the real things that we need, and Web3 has proven this, are mastery, autonomy, and purpose. Well, we know, we know autonomy with the DAOs, right? That's, that's proven. Mastery. As you go down these rabbit holes, each of you who've been down a rabbit hole in NFTs, blockchain, raise your hand. How did it feel when you learned new stuff? It felt, that's mastery, it felt awesome. When you're learning Java or whatever, I don't know, how does it feel when you, when you, you know, execute your first function? Oh my goodness, it's like, yo, I can't believe I just did that. I've been working this hard for it. So you got mastery, you have autonomy, and then you have purpose. What's the purpose? Can a bee stand up and tell me the purpose of the social bees? Henry. What's the purpose of the social bees? We only have three minutes. Go, just tell me in 30 <laughs> seconds. Tell me in 30 seconds. To help everybody buzz and go. So that's, that's what I say about utility. <laughs> help everybody buzz and go. Help everybody progress and advance their lives no matter what their color or creed. Do you ever show up somewhere and you, you just like don't know what to expect? And you know, I've, I've known these three people from last year. Oh, wait, no, February. Um, I it was last year, love that we have met, Link, because you are my people, and I Facts. am I'm so blessed to show up somewhere Facts. and be able to meet you. In real life is everything. It I is. don't care what people say. Like In NFT real life, that. being with everyone physically NFT is that. everything. So I, I love you. This is one of the... This is the best panel, I, and I'm on other Seriously. panels, so this was. Uh, well, this chemistry panel is later. crazy. Oh no, this one's no. the best. <laughs> Everybody except you, Vince. Not you, Vince. I You're a, a capitalist. A You're a capitalist. You're a bad guy, Vince. Okay, I have a question ahead. though. Do you think that like people who are whales um, call themselves whales? 
do you think they like like being called whales? This is just a you know rhetorical. Um, I, I, I would like to know yes. uh, eventually. I, that's Somebody the come they up do. to me later, like that is a whale, and be like, "Yes, I do love that. I love that." <laughs> I want Call me a whale again. Made. Call me a Maybe whale Maybe my again. license plate says <laughs> whale. <laughs> Like, no, 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 no. She's going to have a sick tax soon <laughs> scoping out hot whales. <laughs> the whale tax. People the whale think tax. I'm so crazy on, on TikTok. Although I did, I, I remember I went back because I'm like, when was the first TikTok I did? Um, I talked about crypto kitties in January last year. So I was early. Okay. I was early. <laughs> I was first. People thought I was insane. I mean, they already do. Yeah, so yeah, it was like yeah. really no, no big transition. But two minutes. <laughs> Um, I think this has been one of the best discussions that I have ever had about this. We we didn't say utility too much. Um, in all seriousness, I think so many people just start saying buzzwords. This isn't in Web3. This is across the board. You just start saying buzzwords, and it just glazes over. And I know that from trying to educate about blockchain and crypto and all of that. People just glaze over or whatever they think you know, it impedes what I'm trying to teach them. Oh, crypto's for criminals. Well, so is fiat. Like, hey. you know, like, uh, you know, crypto is fake. It's not though. <laughs> it's it's just not. So it's it's an in incredible way. We just have to keep powering through and talking about all of these things. Um, and when the utility is helping people buzz through, how how he said that, um, that's when we're gonna really win. I will probably never say wag me. I mean, I just did, but. Right. We are going to win. Like, we are going to win. Even if you fail and and get back up and keep going, you're still winning. So thank you, everyone. Um, I'm going to plug a little bit right before lunch. I'm going to do 20 minutes talking to some of my favorite girl devs um, that are fairly nervous. I see, I see you're looking. <laughs> I'll probably do all the talking because, duh. Um, but we want to just give you a little bit of like insight into the world of being a girl dev. Um, and we're going to make you wait for going to get lunch. Um, so that's right after the next panel. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys. You. Thank you. Right. Very much.